All right, welcome back to the Farm Monitor, and yes, to another edition and another season of Meals from the Field. Joining me, as always, our dear friend, the friend of the show, the myth, the legend, Marsha Crowley, <laughs> our seventh year? Seventh year. Seventh year of doing Give Me a Fist Bump. I mean, yes. that's unbelievable. That's awesome. Yes, it is. So, uh, And today, um, in honor of me, Marsha wanted to do comfort food because obviously holidays are over kids are off back to school including my daughter she's back off to school so you wanted to give me some comfort some comfort some That's comfort hard. That's some hard. comfort food so yeah so what do we have here i see some chicken and everything looks very healthy and that's the thing i do like um, about this i wouldn't push that <laughs> you notice i said looks healthy. looks healthy yes okay all right um this is a chicken and dumpling casserole mm -hmm. because making d chicken and dumplings like normal people do would be pretty much very boring sure. on TV. So, sure. all right. So I've um, I've already got this uh, mixture done because I was afraid I couldn't get all the lumps out of the sauce. Mm -hmm. So this is um, butter, and I sautéed celery and an onion and garlic. Added to that uh, two thirds cup of flour and chicken broth, and that's what this is. Now I am halving this. So when I give you the uh, ingredients, mm -hmm. you can half it. Okay. 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 All right, we're gonna add to that four cups of cooked chicken. This is obviously two, and you can use a rotisserie chicken or cook your own chicken. I, when I cook chicken for a casserole, I tend to bake it because I think it holds the flavor better. Sure, <clears throat> I'm gonna opt for rotisserie. Yeah. Whatever's well, easier yeah. for me. And this, uh, two cups of peas. Mm -hmm. Now at this point you could do peas and carrots if you really wanted to make it look good. Okay, that, we'll just let that simmer a minute. Now for the dumplings, I cheat a little bit on this. This is two cups of prepared biscuit mix. Okay. There's two or three varieties out there. Add to that a tablespoon of basil, dried basil, and two thirds cup of milk, and you might need a little more. But like I said, I'm having this. So mm -hmm. if it doesn't look like that's two-thirds cup of milk, it's because it's not. Just mix that up. And like I said, if you need a little more milk, just add a little. You don't want it too wet. You want it kind of dry. You don't want it too thick either. No, right? you, okay. no you don't. Okay, we're going to move that out of the way for a minute. We're going to put this mixture in, our cas in the casserole dish. Hopefully I can do this without Send it flying Look through the that. air. Look at that. You're a champ. I'm a champ. You are a champ. Always makes me nervous, you know. Ever since I sent the flower flying through the... Now we still have that on tape. I'm sure that you do. I'll never live that one down. <laughs> All right, then you're going to drop these dumplings by about a tablespoon mm -hmm. on top of this, oh. like that. Oh. And how, I mean, you can make the dumplings as big as you want, as small as you want. See, I would have mixed it all together and then let the dough form around nah, all of that stuff nah. to see what it came out like. No, no, that would have not looked <laughs> as pretty at all. And honestly, you could do the bottom part ahead of time and mm -hmm. reheat it, but I think it's important that this is, uh, the inside is warm when you put the dumplings right. on there. They won't be as doughy. Okay, you bake that uncovered at 350 for 30 minutes, then you cover it, and you want the dumplings to brown, okay. basically. Okay. And then this is the finished product here. Oh, that's heavy. It's heavy. That's a little it heavy. Might and be it's a little, a little hot. hot. It might Still be a little, a little hot. hot. All right, we're going to put that back. Well, uh, so can I get a skin graph? Sure, okay. well, you can see the state. <laughs> and I see that I forgot to melt this butter, but whatever. Um, for the purpose of TV, For purpose of we TV, shall melt this is the melted butter. butter. Okay. And these are caraway carrots, and there's like two ingredients: melted butter, mm -hmm. pretend that's melted, and about a tablespoon of caraway seeds. Okay. And you just pour it over the carrots, and you bake them for 30 minutes, however however you like your carrots crisp or right. soft. But here again, you can add carrots to the um, chicken and dumplings because really, that's a meal in itself. Seven years, my friends. Seven years, and this is the first time she forgot to melt the butter. Wow, fire me. 
fire me. And I'm then, upset. I thought you were perfect. I am. <laughs> Not. <laughs> and then this probably doesn't even need to be talked about. It's just steamed broccoli. broccoli. Put okay. it in a bowl, a little bit of water, and saran wrap on top, and microwave it for like three minutes. And you can add lemon to it, any kind of spices you want. That's so, it. And there's your meal. Uh, there's your meal. And of course, your folks. Your comfort food. Your little comfort food. Uh, and again, you can find all these recipes by logging on to gfb.org or better yet go to uh, farm-monitor.com actually that's where the recipes are of course um, I'm not perfect either so it's uh, it's that's yes, why we it's make farm, a good pair it's farm-monitor.com all the recipes are there including the melted butter part uh, so you can get all the things you need there there's other recipes that you could uh, try out as well um, I'm looking forward to season seven. I, uh, oh, I can't really believe am. it's been seven years. So good seeing you again, you too, and Happy New Year. we will see you again next month.